I'll try to make this tutorial quick. Uh, I go to File, then click on Open, and then I go to the rows that I want to do. So I can choose any of the volumes here to do the rows, but I want to. I, I made a smaller folder with less rows because any of these volumes have so many pages. We don't have time for that, so. I am, I put some of the images in these rods into this folder. Let's do this one. Now, first things first, I want to go to Windows and click on Actions. Now I want to start a new action. I can call it File Preparation Manga. Click OK. And I want to start a new action by clicking this button. And I click on record. Now I want to go to the lock button here, click it once to unlock, and then click this lock button again to lock it again. And then I click on this layer here to start a new transparent layer where I plan to do my cleaning on. And I rename the layer one by double clicking layer one into clean and click in enter. That also selects the current layer on its own, which is helpful. And then I click on the pause button, which ends the action. Now I have the file preparation manga action created. Now I want to do the same process as in giving a clean layer to all my raw images and save them all as PSDs. Our tips, they're the same thing. So I click on File, go to Scripts, click on Image Processor, then I, for number one, select Images to Process, I choose this button that says Select Folder, and I click on the folder that I want to do. So I navigate to the volume with the images that I want to work on. So this is the volume or folder raws that I want to prepare. I choose that. It's an empty folder, but there's the images are still there the, that you saw earlier, and I click OK. That's for number one, done. Number two, select location to save processed images. I choose save in the same location. It won't put the images in the same exact location. It'll start a new folder and put the images in that folder when it's done processing the images. And for three file type, instead of choose a save as JPEG, that makes it entirely flat and negates the action we just did. I uncheck that. And I can choose save as PSD or I can choose save as TIFF. TIFF is basically the same thing as PSD, except it can store much larger sizes of images. So I love TIFFs more than PSDs. So let me just do tips. It functions exactly the same way as tips. I mean, as PSDs. It saves the layers. It keeps the layers preserved. The anything preserved. Fonts preserved. And number four, I choose run action, and then I choose the action that I just made. So I made Fabu Page and Manga action nine. That's the one that I just showed you that I made. So I choose run action. Include ICC profile, not sure what that is, but let's keep it. Now, when I click run, it'll run this one action over all my images in that folder. So let's do it and watch it happen. See, now look, it's making the lock thing and it's making the clean layer thing. It's adding a clean, transparent layer to all my images. Oh, and sometimes you'll get the set command. You can just click continue to ignore that. So it's adding the layer to all my images in that folder. And once you're done, the point of this is to convert all your raw PNGs or JPEGs straight into TIFFs or PSDs so that you can work on the files easily without having to save them by taking extra time to save them. I'll show you what I mean later.
Okay, now that that's done, I click on File and I click on Open, and there's look, there's a new folder called TIFF, and it's completely identical to your original rods, which are here, but it's a brand new folder. See, these images aren't dumped in the same spot; it's made into a separate folder here. There is 47 pages here, and in the original rods, there is 47 pages here. So it's consistent and these are all tips or PSD files depending on which one you selected and it's really convenient because you've got the clean here and you got layer 0 and you can start cleaning or whatever so see look I can clean here and, and then I can just typeset whatever I want so I can be like this So I can start typesetting, and after that, I can just directly save. And I can do that to another image here, where I can do the same process again. Clean, and I can typeset. Like that. And there's two layers here. I can also click save. So look, I typeset all the images. Let's pretend I already typeset and cleaned all the images and it's all done now. I don't need to save each image into a PNG or whatever, what, the slow way. I can do it the quick way now because I saved them all as tips without needing to save them as PNGs. That's what you're supposed to do. You can just save them as you go along. You don't need to save two versions of each image. So now you go to scripts and go to image processor. And now for number one, this time you don't want to choose the raws anymore. You want to choose the TIFFs. So this is the raws. This is what you originally chose, but you want to choose TIFFs now because that's the one that you typeset in, that you finished typesetting and then you click OK. Then for number 2 you choose save in the same location and number 3 file type. You had save as TIFF, that's what you did earlier but now you want to convert the TIFFs into JPEGs. So you get rid of this. Now that it's unchecked, you choose save as JPEG and you want to choose quality 12 because quality, thir I mean, quality 12 is the highest. There's no 13 and you don't want to do below quality 12 because that's bad quality. Now number 4, you don't need to run the action anymore, you already did that so you uncheck it. All you're doing is converting your final TIFF files into JPEGs so that you can start uploading the JPEGs directly to your manga sites. And then include ICT profile, you can keep that. So now take one look at this once more because you're gonna run this now to convert the tips into JPEGs. Now, during this process, it's merging all your layers into one layer and converting your TIFF into a JPEG. And that's going to put all the JPEGs in a separate folder. So then in the end result will be this. You have your RAWs in one folder. You'll have your TIFFs in another folder. And you'll have your final result, which is the JPEG version of your edited TIFFs in a third and final folder. All three will be separate, but at the end, you can just upload your JPEGs to whatever manga sites you want. And you'll have your tips to change, they're like the original PSD files. And 
you'll have the RAS. So that's the most organized file preparation process that I can teach you, and I really love this process. So let's see. I hope this finishes first. Okay, now that you're done preparing those files, you click on open. Let's go check now. It's here. The JPEGs are here. That's what you publish to your manga site. The tips are here. These are your original PSD files that you typesetted. You can keep them. And these are the original RAWs. They're here. And that's how you stay organized. So you basically do that process to uh, all these rods and that's it. I hope this helps you stay organized and structured. Um, here's one last trick before I go. One of my favorite tricks is I can open up all these files and start working on them. They're in order because I hold down the shift key and click on the first image and then I go to the last image. Well, now what I do is I start working on the images. Let's say I do this. Let's say I typeset in all these images. I don't even save, I just typeset them all. Now this is a little risky, but after I'm done typesetting, I, I click on this and I click close all. I right click and click close all. And then it, this pops up and I just click yes and I just click enter and I mass save, but... Alright, I did it wrong, I'm supposed to oop in these. But... Basically, I could usually do this. That should mass save everything. Let me try that again. Yeah, I was doing the bras, but I wasn't supposed to do this. I was supposed to go here and do this. Let me show you. Let's say I typeset all these tips. You're supposed to typeset the tips, not the rods, because that happens. And after I'm done typesetting, I right click and I click close all, and it says save changes. So yeah, I click save, enter, 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 and I keep going like this, and it all saves. And that's how I mass save all the tips. And see, it's right here. That's my saving trick. Uh, yeah, I have to do that to the tip folder, not the raw folder, so... Ignore these. And that's it. This tutorial is over. Thanks so much for listening, and... I hope you learned and this helps you in your future time-saving processes. Bye-bye.